Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, this is not really going to be about knives. So if, if you're thinking about knives and stuff and you clicked on this, um, look at one of my other videos. Because uh, I wanted to talk about something. I mean, it can apply to knives. I haven't seen it actually happen. I've got some pictures here I'll show you. It's mostly occurring in the... Uh, gun world and stuff like that, but, um, and that is, what is real? You know, like a, a lot of artificial intelligence, a lot of stuff's going on, like right now there's a bunch of, they're calling them drones, <clears throat> flying over New Jersey, and uh, I have this book out here, not because I'm going to go over it or anything, I was there when that happened. I was at this actual base during the time this happened. I was working nights when this happened. Now you think, wow, he's got a really good story to tell. Unfortunately, I work in a classified career field. So our shop where we you know, bring stuff back to be repaired and replaced or we work on stuff like that uh, has no windows. And is locked. You need to you need to know the code. It had a four cipher type code that you had to click through to get in, even. And even if you were uh, outranked, whoever answered the door, if you didn't have a reason to be in there, you weren't let in, no matter what your rank is. So because of all of that, the only thing I knew about this is after it happened. I saw the heightened security, and we had to show, usually they just wave you through if you had a decal on your vehicle and stuff. Uh, they were looking at IDs. They wanted to see military IDs. You know, they, no, no civilians were allowed on base for a little while after that. Um, I guess there might have been some, and I don't know how they would run, the, you know, some of the other, the BX and all that other stuff, because they had a lot of civilians in there. But anyways... It was like, um, this was during the Cold War anyway, so we were used to exercise and stuff, but I had never seen one with that much of a lockdown on it. And now, back then we didn't, we didn't have drones. We, the battery power, the capacity of the batteries was, was too heavy. I mean, they, they tried it and stuff, I think, you know, but you were talking about lead acid batteries you know you really need a strong motor to pick that up and if that's your power source you're spending most of your energy lifting your power source up you, you know until energy got more efficient batteries and, and stuff like that drones you know a little a little object size of, i had to yank the smoke detector down again because it I, I did toast man in the kitchen i put some toast there. i didn't burn it I had it on the one of the lowest settings. It just came out like perfect toast, but st stupid thing went off, and it freaked out uh, two cats that were in here, and they all wanted out. By the time I got up there and yanked it out, but anyways, something this size, if you fit it with enough lights and enough battery sources and everything, and you only fly it at night, man, you can see some strange stuff up there. And, and talking about coordinated and everything else, have you seen some of these uh, drone light shows and stuff like that? I mean, they're almost as good as fireworks. All they have to do is add the low-frequency sound like an explosion going on, and man, it, it, it would probably replace pyrotechnics, you know. I still like old-fashioned fireworks and stuff, but still, what I'm saying is what you see a lot of times when you're looking at something... Your mind already has a preconceived notion of what you're looking for. You know, like if if you've heard that there's a, a big cat out there somewhere, you know, like a mountain lion or something, and it's been prowling the neighborhood, and you see a shadow of something big going by, uh, you know, unless you know what you're doing and everything, a lot of people are going to think, I saw it, I saw it. Um, so I'm not trying to downplay this because I don't know, you know, the... Today, yesterday and today was supposed to, according to the internet, have been a day for uh, an alien invasion, according to some computer program and all this stuff. Man, we've been through so many of these um, in my life and even in my 
grandmother's life, a lot of people went crazy when Haley's Comet was coming. They thought it was the end of the world because some preacher got up there and started telling them that. And a lot of people spent, you know, up on a on a hill praying and hoping, you know, and, and all it was was, you know, a comet nowadays, you know. And and you'd think, okay, well, that's just, you know, people back in the 1800s or whatever, they, they were ignorant and everything. <laughs> people still are ignorant, you know. That doesn't have anything to do with it. And, and that is a lot of times, like I said, we have preconceived notions, you know. It's just like people that go on ghost hunting things, uh... You know, they're expecting to see ghosts. And one, I was talking to one person, one girl I was talking to a while back, a few years back. Um, we were corresponding and everything. And she said she was spiritual and all this other stuff. And I'm, I'm skeptical, you know. I, I, I just say that I'm skeptical of a lot of stuff. Because uh, if, if, you're, if you're going into a library, they went into this library that was supposedly quote-unquote haunted. And uh, she was telling me that a lot of people noticed, you know, that they had these cameras watching them, and you couldn't see it while we was there, but these orbs were flying around, and, and they would follow the people as they went, you know, and, and they would stop, and they would do strange motions and everything. Have you ever seen dust particles on a camera, you know, especially a night camera, and it's out of focus? It looks like an orb, you know? So when I was trying to tell her this, she just, you know, completely dismissed me and said, yeah, you're just not spiritual, you know, you're just... Uh, uh. I said, look, no, I'm just, I'm just more practical. There's a thing called, like, Occam's Razor, you know. Don't go looking for odd and weird stuff when a logical explanation is staring you right there in the face. But it doesn't fit the narrative. Oh, wow. Now it's a dusty library instead of a haunted one. And they make a lot of money off this. You know, they have these little tours and all this other stuff. And, you know, I don't know if they make money off of it. But you see, there's always somebody that's going to profit from telling a lie. And, 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 and here's, here's some examples that really bug me, you know. <clears throat> it's when they put an AI-generated image of a gun that does not exist. If you look at them, there's always something wrong with them. You know, the barrel's too short, or, you know, this, even if you zoom it in, is not words. that It doesn't fit together. It's, it's like AI looked at a gun and created an image for them. You know, so, I mean, that's one. Here's another one, you know. The most returned guns in the U.S. right now. If you look at this thing, what it, this is where like a mag release would be, you know? What, what is going on there? Now, now it's got an AK mag release, but you can't rock forward with that. That's a straight up magazine well. You, you can't use that type of attachment, you know? And then what is going on with this? It's a rail mount, but it's got a, it's a picked any rail on it. And there's a lot of things wrong with this picture, and that's because AI generated it. You know, and it gets you on a thumbnail. You think, wow, I want to look at that gun. It doesn't exist. This is a trap. This is a design, a clickbait. Look at this. Here's another funny example. The day the earth stood still, 1951. And then it's super Panavisions, like 1950s. Let me tell you, man. Women didn't run around like this in the 1950s. This is modern, you know. All of this is, is like soft porn, you know. They have really good trailers and everything. It's generated by AI, and it looks very realistic, uh, but it's not real. And, you know, I mean, that, that's another one. Here's another one. If you, if you look at this gun closely and everything, this could be one. Sometimes they throw in, and, and I'm, there's no diss about th these people right here. I'm not, you know. I'm not. I'm not slamming in. I'm just saying I disagree with these type of thumbnails because look at this. There is no way these cartridges are gonna fit in that magazine, you know. Um, and here's some where they're. It's a little bit better done, you know, because they at least they put real words on here. Emergency contacts, you know. A lot of times they'll put a list of you know. 35 items that you have to have to survive. And they put this picture up here. And it's AI generated. You know, it's just like 
too well organized or the picture's too well done. Here's another really funny one. How are bullets made? What is this girl going to do, man? This is a roller thing. And what in the hell are they doing inspecting? Why do you need so many women in dress like this? You know, I mean, yeah, they're combat women. Look, they've got on fatigues and stuff, you know. There's a lot of things wrong with this picture, but people are going to click on it because, hey, I like bullets, and I already know how bullets are made, but what in the heck are they doing here? Talk about unsafe things, you know. It just doesn't fit right. It, and, and what captures is they know that human males are probably looking at this, you know, heterosexual males, maybe even women. I don't know, you know. Women could be attracted to that too. But again, um, these fake pictures really bug me because you will not see you will not see that in the, in the video I, if you watch oh i didn't know it could zoom up like that what did i do to get that to zoom up i'm just learning well look at that maybe that's what i did <laughs> but yeah you know it, it it's just crazy <laughs> um they did. I don't think they had breast implants back in the fifties. And if you did, there's a, such a thing called society, and a lot of people worried about what other people would think. You know, all the way down from the lowest level of people to the highest. You know, people would dress. You you wear a suit going out. I mean, you know, in the fifties was strange. You know, it was coming after the war. People were trying to be free, but they were still restricted a lot. They were used to. Uh, rations you know being told what they could have and not have and you know fighting and all this other stuff and then woo, that's how baby boomers came about but like i said this stuff right here really bothers me because you know, look at and also what is it it's turning into arabic writing or something what is this it's found off of a spacecraft you know uh and a lot of times what all right is this a lever or is it do you push forward or down? How do you release a cylinder, you know? There's a lot of things wrong with these pictures. And that's because... Why put... Why put adjustable sides on this thing? It's barely got enough of a barrel to start spinning the bullet. You know? Adjustable sides? <sighs> um, I, I find them humorous. That's why I just... I've only recently started doing that. But I just started saying, you know... Nowadays, really... You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to develop critical thinking skills if you don't already have them, because there's a lot of ways to bamboozle you now. Uh, besides just regular propaganda, things can be faked, and, and and you can be deceived into thinking that they're real. Um, they're not gonna fool me with the the firearms because I haven't fired, I haven't been up to it recently. But for most of my life, I followed the development of firearms and tried to handle as many as I could because I could. You know, it was America. I, I could do it, you know. I didn't need a license and all this other stuff, you know. It's whatever your parents had or your neighbors had and everything. Um, you could experience. And then, like I said, I worked at a, a rifle and pistol range where I got to handle all and see all kinds of guns. Guns that I would never buy or be able to buy. You know, we're just right there, and uh, I could shoot them if I wanted to. But um, as far as what's going on, I don't know. Really, if you think about it, why would aliens come all this way, you know, to invade Earth? Uh, it'd be much easier just to get rid of us I mean, rather than sit there and, and fight us, you know. It'd be so easy to get rid of the entire human population and pretty much save the rest of the planet. Uh, and they're advanced. <laughs> you know, they don't need to do that. Uh, so anyways, I don't know. I, I spent a lot of my life um, fascinated about UFOs, reading books about them, everything, Project Blue Book, and all the different stuff. When I was in the Air Force, I was kind of like on the side, kind of looking for any indication that maybe we had saucers that weren't covering up. I couldn't find anything about it. I mean, even the uh, the stealth fighter was within my career field, and because I wasn't working on it, and it wasn't public knowledge, I didn't even know about it. And I was in the Air Force while it was 
while it was being flown and developed, but I wasn't, at, if I'd have been at a different base, I might have seen it, you know, like if I was in Arizona or something, I might have seen it flying around at night, even if I was working on something else, or I might have been cleared to work on it, you know, and then I would have known about it, but it's just like anything else, man, if, if the military wants to keep a secret, they can keep a secret, and it's very easy for them to keep a secret with people within the military because they have a lot more control over you than than they do in civilian life. But anyways, yeah, just just use the senses that you've got and 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 be skeptical of, of things that you see or hear because uh, AI and, and fakes and stuff like that, if you look at them, it's like old clutch cargo, you know, uh, animations. It was a, a, an animated back panel, but it was a, a camera zoomed in on somebody's mouth moving, you know, and it was so obviously fake that you couldn't fool anybody with that, but it was a cartoon. And they advanced. They gotten a lot better. Now, if you look at some of those, uh, some of those videos and stuff, man, it's, it's getting realistic. What they usually screw up on is the words themselves. They, they don't pronounce them properly. I mean, you, you, you've seen AI and stuff like that. But anyways, all I'm saying is um, don't be fooled by a bunch of uh, artificial stuff that's going on uh, because there there are people out there that, that want you to be uh, bamboozled and fooled, you know, a fool and his money or, or easily parted company, you know what I mean? So... Uh, that's usually what's going on, but anyways, yeah, it's just a ramble, just a little thing that, uh, I, I wish, I wish I would have, I wish I would have been out on the flight line when this was happening, um, but unfortunately I was in a, a wallless, I mean a windowless building, you know, insulated from almost everything, um, so there you go. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.